discussion time here at the Backyard Tech Channel. Also, a bit of a rant from old mate here as well. Can Australia's ACCC, the Australian Competition and Consumer Commission, actually do anything about the high fuel prices the motoring public here in Australia have to pay? G'day everyone, thank you for tuning in, it is discussion time, also a bit of a rant from old mate here. Now my international viewers, you may be able to draw some parallels from this video, but to my Australian viewers, undoubtedly, if you're a road user, you'll understand this. Alright, the ACCC, Australia's Competition and Consumer Commission, now depending on who you talk to, they're either almighty or all powerful or they're a completely toothless tiger. Now, this comes out amid reports in the media today that the Australian Competition and Consumer Commission is gonna launch an investigation into the massively high fuel prices that the motoring public of Australia are forced to pay. The only problem is, every time in the past the ACCC's done an investigation like this, they've dropped their bundle. Because the fuel companies are too smart for the ACCC. Now, part of this problem is Australia's reputation as well. We have a reputation internationally that not only are we a high wage earning country, we'll pay for it regardless of the price. We will we'll pay it. I mean, if a fuel company sells oil at $1.40 a litre, by the time you put everything on the top of it, the GST, you know, two lots of GST, plus the gate price, transport price, retail increase. Australians will pay $2.50 a litre because we have to. Because we are known that, you know, Australians will pay for it. But right at this point in time, it's become very evident that the fuel companies are making massive, massive profits. Now, my poor Queensland viewers, um, Brisbane, capital of Queensland, their average fuel price around uh, the city was at $1.46.8, meaning the profits on that, and now that's $1.46.8 cents per litre here in Australia, giving the fuel companies a profit of 23.1 cents per litre, according to the report. Now, if you do that around the whole state of Queensland, in, in parts of rural Queensland, you can pay upwards of $3 a litre. Same in parts of the Northern Territory as well, rural parts of WA. And you add that profit margin on top, you can imagine how much money is coming in. Now, the ACCC has confirmed that it will be, uh, begin the investigation later this year, to quote the article, but also they're looking into the behaviour of service station operators and whether they are quick to spike the price of fuel to make a profit. And there's one problem with that. It's not whether they are or they're not. It's the fact they are quick. You don't need to determine whether they're quick. They are quick. The ACCC over the last umpteen years has launched investigation after investigation after investigation into the price of fuel. For the last 20 odd years, Australia's been paying more than a dollar a litre. All right, we hit a dollar a litre in, I think it was late 1998. Some stations around Melbourne peaked at a dollar a litre or a dollar oh one, and it's steadily been increasing. Now, the fuel companies know that they can just charge whatever they want because we need to drive. They don't care. They get money. They don't care what the price is. They, they're smart enough. They're more smarter than the average driving public here in Australia to know that Australians will pay high fuel prices. We have to. Now... Whether the ACCC can actually do anything is un unknown. Now, in Melbourne and Sydney, 
Um, we were paying a dollar forty a litre. The profit margin there works out at about nineteen cents per litre. And Sydney was paying about a dollar thirty a litre. Right, profit margin is about I think that's about twelve cents a litre. But you've got to look at it this way that the gate price coming out of the, the, the fuel depots is about a dollar a litre. Okay. At worst, I don't know about the rest of the country, but here in Melbourne and Geelong, we've got the Geelong refinery here. We should be paying no more than about a dollar fifteen a litre. But no, no, my my nearest Bowser's sitting at a dollar forty three point nine cents a litre. But the thing is, the fuel companies are smart enough to know that the A Triple C is toothless in this. They can't do anything. They won't do anything because the fuel companies have got the ACCC bent over backwards and bent over a barrel, so to speak. Now, if the ACCC could do anything, it would be to recommend to the government to cap the price of fuel. That would be the only way to stop the massive margins. Now, the individual retailers, their margins are... There's always been this thing of they don't make a lot of money on petrol. Most of the profit they make comes from the shop. Well, depending on who you talk to around the country, that's a little bit debatable. My big problem is, is that it's the low-income earners and those who are um, struggling that suffer the most with these high fuel pricing. If you live in an area where public transport is phenomenally atrocious, you've got to get to work somehow, you've got to use the car. So part of the problem is Australians not actually arcing up and our international reputation of, well, Australia will pay for anything regardless of the price. Like I said, the ACCC has done investigations in the past and have dropped their bundle on this one, and it'll happen again. They're gutless. They know they can't do anything because a little competition commission here in Australia can't tell a global fuel provider what to go do with themselves because the global pr fuel provider will go, no, stuff ya. Don't tell us what to do, you scrawny little rat bag country. And this is the problem. So, how do you get fuel prices lower here in Australia, especially for low-income earners, low- to middle-income earners, and those struggling financially? The only way to do it would be to cap the price of fuel. That, that's the only option. But the ACCC won't do that. right? Because what the problem is, is that every time the ACCC tries to investigate the fuel station operators and all the petrol companies, it's like smacking into a brick wall. It all just falls apart. And they, they release a report saying there's nothing that can be done uh, they're playing by the rules. Well, that's only because they've hidden the BS that they've been doing from the ACCC. Now, while Queensland's paying a lot for petrol, so is the Northern Territory. You go to some remote parts of the Northern Territory here in Australia, you're paying $2.50, $2.60 for unleaded and more for diesel. Now, if I take a Victorian look at this, You can imagine how much money is being made from Victoria for the fuel companies. From LPG, all three common petrols, diesel, a whole lot. And yet, like I said, Australia is dumb. We'll just pay it. We'll arc up about it, but we won't do anything about it. We won't shop around for the cheapest petrol. We'll just go to the nearest Bowser and go, well, look, they're $1.49.9 a litre. I need 60 bucks. You just go fill it. 
the independent operators do try to keep the price down, but one independent service station can't clobber the likes of Shell and Woolworths Petrol. The four cent off things that we get from our two major petrol Bowser operators um, is really just four cents off. I mean, it's not even giving a discount on the real price. Same with 7 Eleven. They run our mobile Bowsers here in Australia. Um, they track pretty close to whatever Coles and Woolworths petrol, which is Shell and Caltex. So, if I was running the ACCC, I would probably cut petrol and just say to them, listen, you either do it this way or we take you to court over it. Now, they've, been, they've tried to take petrol companies to court before and they've just not bothered to follow through with it. You know, Brisbane ended up paying the most of the major capital cities compared to us in Sydney. But it's still not... Um, it's still not fair to the whole muttering public of Australia. You know, um, one of my American viewers indicated to me what they're paying for petrol around various parts of the US. Now... If you do the conversion tables correctly and, and the monetary table, they're paying in Australian dollars somewhere around 99.8 to about a dollar two or dollar three per litre. Now, in some parts of the US, I see they're paying about two dollars thirty-eight US a gallon. But if you do the conversion tables plus your your US dollar to Aussie dollar conversion, it works out somewhere between about 98 to a dollar two a litre, Australian. It probably doesn't feel like that to the Americans. The Yanks are in the same spot we are. So are the Europeans. The fact is, we as a nation, with our higher wages than the rest of the world, we have a reputation in the world. We'll pay for it regardless of the price. That's why apples are so expensive out here. Apple knows Australia will buy it. If they want it, they'll buy it regardless of anything else. But the ACCC won't be able to do anything about fuel prices. Fuel prices, not just here in Australia, but around the world, will go up because companies will want more and more money. And you can't, a country like Australia can't tell Shell or Mobile or Caltex or whoever, hey, listen, we're not paying your petrol prices. You can't, look, it was the same thing here in Australia when Ford pulled out of Australia and the same as Holden. Detroit were never going to listen to Australia. Well, the tin little, tin pot little country down southern Hemisphere of Australia is trying to convince us to stay open? God, no. It'll be the same with the petrol companies. We haven't got the cloud. And the ACCC won't do a stinking thing. This is what they do. They, they, they've done this in the past. They launch investigations into fuel pricing around the country, right? Launching investigations always look nothing. Not a thing. Nada. Why? because they know they're fighting a losing bloody battle. The only way, the other way that it could be done was, would, would be for the children in Canberra, now my Australian viewers will know about this, international viewers won't understand, but over the last couple of weeks, Canberra's turned into like a, a, a kindergarten at break time, uh, a bunch of children running around with their heads cut off, um, would be for the children in Canberra to legislate a straight cap right across the fuel market, rush it through kindergarten, and cap the price of petrol. That's the only way you could do anything about it. But then kindergarten doesn't make as much money because they've got double GST on everything, plus tax. So it's a double-edged sword, right? 
you cap petrol, which makes it cheaper for everyone, but you lose revenue in the fuel excise plus the double GST. But if you do the, if you work it out, it means that more people fill up with more petrol because they can afford to put more in the tank, meaning in some weird way, backyard tech style thing, it sort of levels out fiscally. Now, whether Canberra Kindergarten actually would do that, again, probably not, because the head child of the whole operation here in Australia, Prime Minister Turnbull, um, well, unless it affects his area that he looks after, it probably won't get through. Um, but regardless of that, Brisbane's paying too much, Sydney's paying too much, Melbourne's paying too much, Adelaide's paying too much, Perth's paying more than it should, Darwin's through the roof with petrol, Hobart's not much better. And it's all because now, um, apparently because of record profit margins, but we've had record profit margins for decades now here in this country, and the ACCC's done nothing about it. So, you know, I mean, Canberra Kindergarten probably won't do a thing. And even if the ACCC does get onto something that they can do something about, I don't think it'll happen. And the investigation could take two years. The ACCC is not, not quick at moving. You know, so it'll be interesting to see. And I mean, look, I've been driving for nearly 20 years. But I remember my late father, 1983, 82, we were paying about 12 or 13 cents Australian a litre for fuel. And LPG was down at um, four or five cents a litre or something. Right. Now, people who run their cars on LPG are paying 75 cents a litre. It's not worth having LPG now in comparison to yesteryear. Diesel around the country averages around a dollar twenty-five to a dollar thirty-eight a litre. Okay, sure, diesel, you do get further on diesel, granted. Shouldn't be that much. But you look at your poor truck drivers. Cost them a thousand bucks plus to fill their trucks up. You know, they've got to pass that big cost on. There we are. The A Triple C. It'll never happen. And they'll they'll do what they've done in previous investigations. No, nope, we can't find anything, we can't do anything about it. It's just the way it is. Stick around, we'll see what else crops up throughout the day. Until then, as always, we shall catch you in the next video. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Cheers.